Welcome to Rory Academy YouTube channel where we present information that helps you improve your understanding and knowledge about power electronics technology. What is a P-type semiconductor? In a semiconductor crystal, each tetravalent atom creates a covalent bond with four neighboring atoms. In this way, each of the atoms in a semiconductor crystal gets eight electrons in the outermost orbit. Now if a small percentage of trivalent impurity atoms are doped in the pure or intrinsic semiconductor crystal, then the electrical behavior of the crystal is drastically changed. Now three valence electrons of each trivalent impurity atom create covalent bonds with three neighboring semiconductor atoms. In this way, each impurity atom gets seven valence electrons at the outermost orbit. But still, there is a lack of one electron in the outermost orbit of the impurity atom. In other words, there are three complete covalent bonds and one incomplete covalent bond with one electron. Hence, there is a vacancy for one electron, and we refer to this vacancy as a hole. Each hole gets created from one impurity atom. So far we have explained, the creation of holes but did not focus on how a hole associated with a static impurity atom can move in the crystal. But in a semiconductor crystal holes can also move like electrons but the mechanism of movement is different. When one hole that is one incomplete covalent bond is created, it will not remain incomplete lifelong. Hence, the total number of holes in a p-type semiconductor is a sum of holes due to trivalent impurity atoms and holes generated due to thermal excitation whereas free electrons are only due to thermal excitation. Hence, the number of free electrons in a p-type semiconductor is much smaller than the number of holes in it. That is why we consider holes as majority carriers, and electrons are called minority carriers in a p-type semiconductor. Thank you for watching and kindly subscribe to this channel for your weekly videos.